Oh, it opened on its own. My hands were both here. Hi guys, this is Ju from Soju Cars and thank you for watching this video. Today we have the Peugeot 208. This one has a very small engine, 1.2 liter, but it does about 130 horsepower and 230 newton meters of torque mated to six speed automatic transmission. This is a French car that some of you would appreciate if you are in the market for, let's see, a mini three door or other small SUV that are easier to drive. You can get the, the speed you want and the style that you can always, you know, slap people's face. Look at my car. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Pujo Philippines, for lending me this car for a long time. And also, please to check out Shell's Go Plus app in their apps. In our channel, we say, Shija. The front of the 208 just tells a lot of things. It's so stylish, it's trendy, it looks sharp. It looks nothing like other cars that we have here in the Philippines. Take a look here. The 208 has the infinity sign here. Everyone loves infinity sign for good luck. Frameless grill design, the huge lion logo, the fang lights, and a bit of uh, silver metallic bits here and there but what I really appreciate from this car is that it has sensors all around the car the front and the back that is why it manages to make up for not having a 360 camera I guess by next year we will have Peugeot vehicles with 360 camera let's see you see when you look in the side not so much of the chrome contrast the only silver items you'll see are on the door, like on top of the door handle, which is like a, a keyless go entry system of Mercedes-Benz, like that's how you'll know. And then on the two-tone rims, these are nice looking rims. They are 17 inches. They just have a great combination with this tire that you don't hear so much from the outside. It is well insulated. It is just so much fun to drive this car and you must try it. The 208 comes with keyless entry system with a sensor that when you reach the boundary, it will open and close. Macpherson in front and torsion beam at the back. But surprise, disc brakes are everywhere on the four corners. This um, roof rail is functional. Although it would be even better, of course, if we had the sunroof. Uh, the price goes to uh, 1,750,000 pesos. But if you're in the market for euros, if you want something that has a driving dynamic of a BMW or a Mini, this could be a cheaper or more affordable option. And Pujo is not just going mainstream. It is not even going for premium. They are going for the mainstream premium. And that is exactly what this 208 did for us. Okay, I'm 5'10". This might be the smallest unit or model available here in Pujo, Philippines. But this one has more than enough seat space or cabin space. I didn't have any problem whatsoever um, while driving this one. You can also pump your seat up and down. So it caters to everyone's height. More than having this, you know, um, cool 3D instrument cluster, I really enjoyed the sound system. It's fantastic. 
fantastic, okay? You should just get used to how you can connect to the Bluetooth, but once you get the hang of it, it's easy. It connects fast as well. And the sound of the horn, the horn is like, mm, like more of a sound that you can hear on a boat. <laughs> what I like most about driving this car is that it has all the automatic system, like the windshield wiper, the lighting system, of course, the six-speed automatic transmission is just amazing. It is tuned so you can feel the sporty drive, the comfort and everything. Very soft in echo, but gets stiffer when you are in sport mode. I've been dri driving this for about two weeks and total maybe three weeks. So fuel efficient, nice air condition system, even without tint. Everyone who got inside the car were happy. Now, some people might like want to have a vent here. Just think of this car as your regular sedans before, like they didn't have vents here. What, what I want to tell you is that it is extremely cold even at the back. So my mom is very hard to please, like I always mention, but she was happy, happy with this car. The glove box is deep, lots of space. Yeah, you get surprised how much space you have here in front and also at the back. So you really enjoy this cockpit. Although there's no auto dimming room mirror, uh, like I think that should be an upgrade in the future. This um, carbon fiber design, it also comes with lane keep assist. It also has front mitigation uh, assist. So it, it really works. And it works in a subtle way, not in a way to make you surprised and panic. And that's important for me. All right, I'm gonna let you experience the sound system. The options, audio settings, then you can control this. And the beauty of this is there's no distortion or shaking or cracking sound, no. So good. It's so good. I'm 5'10 and I'm here on the second row. Wow, you know, uh, the headrest is also really soft. Yeah, like it's rare that I find this kind of softness in the headrests nowadays, unless it's on my back. But this one is really comfortable. A lot spacious than you would imagine. There's a high uh, center tunnel now. That is a bummer, but maybe in other countries it comes in all-wheel drive, but this one is a front-wheel drive. Um, not having cup holder is a bummer, yes. Uh, you will need to hold it or put it here in between the net here, or at least give us cup holders without the armrest, or give us the armrest without the cup holder, or you just give us both. Having airbags, dual in front, side, and also curtain, this is definitely a safe vehicle. A safe vehicle that anyone can drive easy to drive and anyone can enjoy the car so much because it is so quick the horn sound the horn is like on the brass side like a boom 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 this is not my first time to borrow the 208, but this time I didn't do any of my refreshment research to the point that I forgot like how many liter this engine is, like the figures. But then I do know that this is turbocharged. And I know that this is the entry car or model of Pujo. It comes with three drive modes, Echo, Normal, and Sport. And for this car, I'm happy to say that it does have big difference on the steering and on the throttle response. Every time I get inside this car and drive it, it feels like it's different from Korean cars, Chinese cars, or even Japanese cars. The engine's performance is actually more similar with European cars. It does behave well. It does behave like a BMW. So this is 
a nice engine a good performing engine a quiet one and also it can make some grunt noises but then it is a overall quiet cabin thanks to this nice suspension tuning uh, I had a lot of people coming in uh, here in the passenger they would say the same oh what car is this and I would say oh this is a Pujo and not Pugot and I tell them this is a French car and I ask them of course how is the comfort yeah they say it is not like your average cars it is definitely like a premium great news for those who are eyeing to go buy this one you know um, Pujo is selling really well right now unlike before thanks to the new distributor it is something that you must try to really appreciate I say that in all of my videos but this is another one of those I think I mentioned in the other video that I, I haven't uploaded <laughs> that this one feels like I'm driving a Mini I'm driving a BMW well Mini and BMW oh, same engine so it just behaves like that but with a fraction of the cost of those BMW or Mini so if you want to experience what it feels like to drive a BMW and a Mini this could be a budget friendly option Pujo Philippines is actually um, not the mainstream it is actually gearing towards mainstream premium or premium mainstream and when you drive it you'll know a feature that people would look forward to would be the 360 camera and adaptive cruise control but this one is actually uh, a tiny car so you don't really need or require a 360 cam it's quite easy to drive this car and having just the backup camera it can do justice yeah and the backup camera is like the panoramic type so it's also cute as well very versatile when you put it to sport mode you know you you are in a sport mode it's definitely different and you will really enjoy pressing the gas yes and it is also fuel efficient at the same time this uh, gear lever now this is a gated gear lever for this automatic transmission and uh, I really appreciate now the difference between gated and just the normal prundle so the gates really do give you a better feel or feedback when you shift from let's say uh, from drive to reverse because this one has Steptronic as well it's just a smooth powertrain the powertrain the combination is uh, really good visibility is amazing as well uh, aircon is uh, really good <laughs> aircon is amazing uh, it's just that uh, it's on the touch side only but you do have the most important like the on and off the recirculation and the AC max button it's a physical button so you can take advantage of that and it also feels good when you click it from the tires you don't really hear the sound uh, because these are not running in run flat tires like the BMWs or the Mini it has better comfort in my opinion it has great exterior dual exhaust tips the sound is good although some people say it's a it's an uh, it's not an organic sound it is actually pre played through the speaker I'm not really sure but it sounds great as well it's a car that looks beautiful and also easy to drive for men and women who are starting to drive it is a cool car that you want to definitely bring out when you are meeting your friends so it definitely holds on to that gear even in just drive mode it even feels like I'm just putting it in the Steptronic mode because that's usually when the, the gears really stay uh, on for a little more while but this one really does it well and the ADA system yes 
ADA system, seamless, accurate. <laughs> seamless and accurate. Because there are cars like, let's say, uh, front collision warning. It just happens um, not in the right time. But this one, definitely, it happens and it shows really well on this 3D instrument cluster, which is also very quirky. It looks like a jet fighter's cockpit, which they call this the eye cockpit. This uh, steering wheel also flat on top, flat at the bottom. It is something you gotta get used to, but then when you are driving, like when you hold it here, it feels girthy and nice. But then like you need to get used to doing that because it's not round. So yeah, you just get used to it. Many of the things now you need to get used to it. It's like uh, if before they were uh, just adjusting to what was classic and what was more practical, now um, motor makers are making different designs or uh, different features that you might want to get used to. The volume dial, it's here, it's not just here, and you also have it here on the steering wheel. But what's so sweet is the sound is uh, the level volume is until 30. But even though you go 30, you will not hear distortion. You can also personalize your audio specification, the treble, the bass, and the mid. You can play around with that. Has nice bass when you listen to your K-pop. And just take a look at this ambient light. This cockpit is just so beautiful. You know, you can also customize, personalize your instrument cluster. Lag is like a, well, mechanical analog feeling but then when it happens it is not like stuttering it is doing it but then like in a slower frame rate okay perfect it's raining the daytime running lag is just so beautiful so beautiful it's so bright it's so well done like i don't think i want to see this car damaged at all because it's just so french and beautiful okay guys here we go that's the normal mode. It's just so fast. I cannot believe that this is a 1.2 liter engine. You know, 1.2 liter three cylinder. Now I know many of you in the comment section will say something negative, but let's just be practical. Uh, I've been driving this for, um, I like total of uh, probably 15 to 16 days. And so far, you know, I'm just enjoying the car very much. And uh, this three cylinder is just unbelievable. Like how it is so versatile, it's so quick, it's so fun to drive. That was just normal mode. And uh, if you just put this to sport mode, and then it brings, and I like this one, it's blinking here, right? U-turn is really easy, let's go. Okay, here we go. Wow. So quick. Woohoo! <laughs> wow, and it's so stable. Oh my goodness, it's so stable. Wow. Independent suspension. Wow, it's just this 17 inches. It just looks so handsome drive so well and all this quirky 3d instrument cluster is so so fun when you just have a tint then it will be the best and then you can also go for the steptronic so we can downshift like that third gear can you can also shift to second gear in 70 can you imagine that what a high revving engine i am going uh, gear number two or like earlier that was like 70 something so you can like really feel like the galloping of the horse if you would like to or if your friend uh, wants to or about to explode and about to urinate that's the time you can make them really explode and urinate when you used to have manual transmissions we used to like play around with that so we cannot shift, of course, to M1 or gear number one. This is a six speed, by the way, so seamless. It just shifts right away. I think it will be more fun when we have the paddle shifter. Don't you think so? 
driving every day uh, I think this is a wonderful car very practical car okay when I say practical car it's really practical car for a French car okay when you, you get used to this uh, head unit and stuff like when you finally get to know how you can add a device a Bluetooth device to this then you'll be really happy okay let's just uh, try to go ah sounds so good okay that was uh, just D ah, this is so nice even in the curve it's nice as well you know you don't get so much body roll but you can if you want to oh, oh. Okay, here we go just have to be careful <laughs> great weather as well wow really fun to drive it's like uh, playing a game actually by the way guys please do use the shell app and use the points well actually you can use the shell app to get points and you can buy some oil with that and you can also benefit from some of its uh, partner shell branches wherein you can get actual discount like two peso three peso so definitely check it out i enjoyed it i was a user even before so please check them out and download the app so basically wonderful car beautiful car we will of course still need to find out the longevity of this uh, three cylinder but then in my experience wow so great so fun to drive you will be happy that you have tried it okay not necessarily you have to buy it you can try it and you'll love it thank you everyone for watching this video uh, please do watch my other videos on Peugeot the 5008 and the Traveler as well and the 308 please do check out Shell's Go Plus app in their app so you can save on points and I'll see you in the next video may your dreams come true bye